The Baltimore Police Department is using hundreds of hours of overtime to have officers sit at known squeegee corners. Police say there's no end date for the patrols, even though the commissioner himself has called the practice unsustainable. It is not sustainable because our manpower doesn't allow us to do that because there's so many other serious things uh, that we have to respond to and that we have to be in places to prevent. And so we can't sustain this indefinitely. Officers are working overtime to deal with the squeegee kid issue as the department struggles to fill hundreds of open positions. And tonight we're getting a new look at just how serious that situation is. Jeff Abel continues our team coverage with new data from the FBI. Jeff, what did you find out? Well, Kai, right now there are 141 fewer police officers patrolling these streets than there were at this time last year. Some experts fear we are heading toward a crisis that we may never recover. In this city's crime fight, there are fears that Baltimore could be facing a perfect storm. With violent crime racing toward historic levels, the dwindling number of crime fighters is making history too. Baltimore has more crime than the police can handle, and they can't recruit new cops because nobody wants to, to do the job. In fact, the newest numbers from the FBI show the number of sworn police officers in Baltimore has declined every year for the past decade. In 2013, the city employed more than 2,800 police officers, and every year since, the numbers have declined. Today, there are 2,197 officers fighting crime. That's a drop of almost 700 officers from a decade ago. That means there are only three officers for every four that the city used to have, and yet crime is getting out of control. This is a chance to be a part of the greatest comeback story in America. The city has struggled to recruit new officers. Earlier this year, the city added a $5,000 signing bonus to the $60,000 starting salary. But it's hardly enough to attract more officers than the city is losing. In a statement, the president of the police union wrote today, the retention efforts are non-existent and the recruitment efforts are a sham. Baltimore, you need to demand that this undercover defund the police movement by the police commissioner and mayor end now for all all of our safety. If Baltimore has a thousand officers by the end of the decade, I'll be shocked. Sean Kennedy with the Maryland Public Policy Institute believes the city may never recover if it stays on the same course. When you are losing more officers to retirement and resignations than you can recruit, they're leaving faster than they join, you are in trouble. And Baltimore has been in trouble for a decade. Well, according to the union tonight, so many officers are leaving this department, not only because of the pay, but also because of poor working conditions and what they call a hostile work environment. We are live tonight, Jeff Abel, Fox 45 News.